students we are reading lesson number 3 the adventures of the dying detective from oxford english book for class 8 today we are going to read page number 38 i hope you have your books with you to follow the reading i left him babbling like a foolish child below as i stood whistling for a cab a man came on me through the fog how is mr holmes sir he asked it was an old acquaintance inspector morton of scotland yard in his official clothes he is very ill i answered he looked at me in a with a strange expression that seemed almost like a smile the cab had driven up so i thought no more of it and i left him lower burke street proved to be a line of fine houses the particular one at which my cabman pulled up had old fashioned iron railings a massive folding door and shining brass work all was in keeping with the solemn butler who went to tell his master of my arrival i had i heard murmuring he can come in the morning so he can stay away my work must not be hindered i thought of homes tossing upon his bed of sickness and counting the minutes perhaps until i could bring help to him his life depended on my promptness before the apologetic butler had delivered his message i had pushed past him and was in the room what's this culverton smith cried in a high screaming voice what is the meaning of this intrusion didn't i send you word that i would see you tomorrow morning i am sorry said i but the matter cannot be delayed mr sherlock holmes the mention of my friend's name had an extraordinary effect upon the little man the look of anger passed in an instant from his face his features became intense and alert have you come from homs he said he is desperately ill that is why i have come the man mentioned me to a chair and turned to resume his own as he did so i caught a glimpse on his face in the mirror over the mantelpiece i could have sworn that it was set in a malicious smile yet i must have been mistaken for he turned to me an instant later with genuine concern upon his features i only know mr holmes through some business dealings which we have had but i had every respect for him it was on account of his it was on account of your special knowledge that mr holmes desired to see you he thought that you were the only man in london who could help him because of your knowledge of eastern diseases mr culverton smith smiled pleasantly and picked up his cap i will come with you at once he said i remembered holmes command i have another appointment said i very good i will go alone you can rely upon me being there within half an hour
at most.